70 sitcom, Good Times, groundbreaking, right? It was a show that launched the career of one of New York's very own, Jimmy Walker. That's right. Jimmy was born in the Bronx and spent his childhood running the streets of Harlem until his dino my career took off. Well, Pixelman's Craig Treadway spent the day with Jimmy, and they visited some of his old stomping grounds. Take a look. You only got paid in Harlem at the Apollo in cash. We're about to sink our teeth into some good times at Harlem's most iconic eatery, the best place to eat in Harlem, right here. Sylvia's, ladies and gentlemen. Right. I'm Sylvia's, my name is Sylvia, but I'm Mr. Shannon. Oh. So what can I get for you, Don? I'm going to have the shrimp and grits. I'm going to have a, I'm going to have the pork chops, my dear. Jimmy, why, why do you think that show was so important? I mean, it was groundbreaking at that time. Our show will be the last show to have urban roots. When our show came on, black people protested. They not only protested my character, they protested the show because we were poor. Our show portrayed the most urban blight, whatever. People fight every week to get rent every day to pay bills and do the whole deal like that. 80% of our show is still relevant to that. Even though this was a comedy, they dealt with serious issues. You were kind of the, co the comedic relief right. that, that took a little bit of the darkness out of it. Every time I hit that stage, I want to be the funniest guy out there. We're going to be going next to uh, another Harlem mecca, the uh, Apollo. Hello. Yeah. yeah, a place that you know a lot about. <laughs> We all know the reputation for the Apollo. Tough crowds. I mean, very, very, very hard crowds. How'd you handle hecklers here? I learned a lot from Red Fox. We used to walk here from the Bronx. We come here, we get our hats blocked, we get our shoes shined, we go to Flag Brothers, get a new pair of shoes. I would have given you a couple of hundred, but I don't have them. <laughs> Thank you. The legend, man. I don't know. No, I don't know about all that. Watch out. That's the hall of mine, though. Get, get the rack, get the rack. Hey, hey. How are you, sir? What's going on? How's All right. Back? Good to see you. I'm Ruben Diaz. Welcome back home. I cannot turn the channel whenever Good Times comes on. Whenever I hear that that um, Good Times theme song, Stretching and surviving. Good times. I leave it on the channel, and I still love to watch Kid Dynamite. Kid Dynamite. <laughs> Good Times was a spinoff of what TV show? I have no idea. It was a spinoff no of uh, two, Esther, Esther Roll's, um, Esther Roll was Maude's housekeeper. That is the correct answer. Esther, who played, uh, Esther's best friend was Lona, you know that. Yes. But she lived in the same building. What was her last name? Malona Woods. Whoa! And if love in the Bronx is wrong, I don't want to be right. Because this is the birthplace of Kit Dynamite! Look at this guy! <laughs> and then give me a Yankee jersey. Something that says New York Yankee so I can wear it here. When I was here, it was 45 cents for a beer. Wow. How old were you when you worked here? I started here when I was like 14 or 15 years old. Oh, okay. And I worked here until like I was like 19. The cool thing would be when you got to be 18 or 19 years old, you could sell beer. <laughs> that was the thing. Well, and remember, you can hang out with the Evans clan every morning on Pix 11 for a limited run. Start your dynamite day with Jimmy Walker and the cast of Good Times. And then stick around for the Pix 11 morning news. Good time.